In this video, we are gonna talk about an item that is often overlooked that can go for big money. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. You can find these at estate sales, garage sales, thrift stores, and we're going to talk about it. Most are bread and butter, but sometimes this category may surprise you. All right, let's get started. Hallmark Betsy Clark. Betsy Clark, if you see Betsy Clark, look it up. Some of these go for big money. This one is more of a bread and butter. It went for $23.83. It is a Hallmark card. It's got the original envelope, it looks like, um, not written in, and $23.83 plus shipping. Now, look at this one, Betsy Clark, $14.39. Again, just a bread and butter, but we're talking one single card. You know, you could go to an estate sale and find a huge stack of these cards. You just never know. So if you see Betsy Clark, definitely grab it if it's cheap, and if they've got it priced high, look them up. This one here is a rare find sealed vintage Hallmark Postalettes, 15 letters and stickers, bunnies and a bird. And this sold for $122.50. So uh, original packaging, Hallmark cards, Hallmark cards, I'm telling you, ornaments and stationary cards. Some of them are big money bolos. A lot of them are bread and butter, but still, if you can get them cheap and flip them for a nice profit, they usually sell. All right, this is beautiful. This is a children's sailing on a flower decorated sailboat, very large. Right here, this is called honeycomb. Anytime you can find vintage um, or antique items with the honeycomb detail that's in good condition, those are definitely something you want to consider picking up. Um, be careful. Don't overpay. A lot of them are going to be bread and butter. Um, really cool piece. $65.98 on this one plus shipping. All right. Halloween. If you don't know, Halloween items can be crazy, crazy money. Um, postcards. These are look like they're Halloween cards. Some of them uh, actually move, and we'll talk more about that. They're mechanical. Moving on. This one here is a 3D mechanical greeting card. It's a die cut. So die cut means it's cut out into the shape of the, the item, like the horns are cut out. It's cut out into the shape. Okay, that's what die cut means. It's three-dimensional. We all know what that means. And mechanical. I'm not sure what it does. Um, I don't know if one of the, if the head on the cow moves, maybe that could be. This is a Valentine's Day card and vintage Valentine's Day cards. Some of them can do really great. Also, this one sold for $45 plus shipping. Superman, look at this. This is a vintage 1940s DC Comics Superman birthday greeting card. Wow. Check that out. $227.50 for that one. And it's not even in mint condition. That's amazing, right? And you're probably thinking that didn't sell. Yes, it did. Super packed and shipped fast. $227.50. That was a good, solid sale. The next item, original Wizard of Oz 1939 birthday card by Stanley Press, Dayton, Ohio. You can see right here, it is written in. And the photos are not that great, honestly, if I have to... If, I have, if I'm being honest, so if this is your listing, I apologize. You've still got $356, which is amazing. So the pictures must have been good enough. But uh, I would lay that card flat. I would get some better lighting and uh, show details of any damage and stuff like that. That will keep you from getting an item not as described. Lot of 90 vintage kids, child's Valentine. Valentine cards from 1950s, boys and girls, 189.50 plus shipping. So people buy these to craft with. This could be a reseller buying this to part out and sell the items individually. That's going to take a lot longer, but you can sell cards individually for sure. Some people have whole stores based on just selling items like this. Uh, people that do postcards. So 
This one is flocked. So that's another thing to look for. The material is kind of fuzzy and raised. That is called flocked. Flocked material um, fabric is also a bolo. Um, check out my top five fabrics to be on the lookout for. Uh, that's a bolo category video I did. Uh, definitely great information that you may not know about. But I do talk about flocked material. And this is a flocked greeting card sold for $40 to $11 plus shipping. And it even has and Fred added. <laughs> so that's kind of a bummer. Could have went for more maybe. Here's another Betsy Clark. This is an Easter card now. This one is a big money bolo. So I'm thinking with the Betsy Clark, it's going to vary depending on how hard, like if it's more of a unique, rare, hard to find item, or if it's more of the common ones. Maybe the age is important. Not 100% sure. This one sold for $167.50 plus shipping. The next item is another Betsy Clark. This one sold for $155.50. And again, it is a pop-up, kind of that three-dimensional look, super cute Valentine's Day card. And this one sold for $155.50. Here's another. Uh, this is a Valentine card booklet by a Betsy Clark. Or maybe Betsy Clark is the artist. And it's got a whole bunch of pictures in it. This one sold for $76.99 plus shipping. Vintage greeting card, Betsy Clark with bird. So let's see. Again, this one pops out. So it seems like those are the ones that are going for more, the ones that are kind of 3D um, pop-up type style. $154 on that one as well. So Betsy Clark, pick it up. Here are 700 vintage greeting cards, unused, 1930s to 1960s, Christmas, Valentine's Day. I sold a nice lot of cards. I think mine went for around $60, but it wasn't a huge lot. It wasn't 700. These sold for $305 plus shipping. Raggedy Ann, Hallmark, new old stock. Um, this is a stationary set. This sold for $34, not huge money. But if you can pick it up for a buck or something like that, even three bucks, that's a great return. So definitely check stationary. Here's another one. This one's Betsy Clark. This one is stationary as well. $31 plus shipping. Here's another Betsy Clark. And this is stationary as well. Sold for $96 plus shipping. That Betsy Clark. Wow. People love her art. Uh, buttons and bow stationary. Girl making ice cream. So buttons and bow, that's not one I've heard of. So I'd definitely be thinking about that. Here's it's a Hallmark cards also. And $202.50 for that one. We have this lap pack, girl and sunflowers, Hallmark stationery. This one sold for $86. It's got that cute little uh, booklet style folder with a cute little picture on the front. Pretty cool. The next one is another, uh, this one's Betsy Clark. This says Holly Hobby Stationery Notes and Seals, $270.68 plus shipping. Um, I don't know why this one says Holly Hobby. So, because it looks like the same type of picture as the other one. And I know Holly Hobby is really popular. So is Betsy Clark the artist of Holly Hobby? Is that Holly Hobby? Because it looks like the other ones. Let me know in the comments if you guys specialize and know anything about that. So here's another one that's Betsy Clark Holly Hobby stationery. This one um, sold for 58. See again, it doesn't say Holly Hobby. Hmm. Vintage stationery. Betsy Clark. All of the big money ones were like Betsy Clark over and over and over and over again. So I'm going to say the number one thing you need to look for is Betsy Clark for cards and stationery and stuff. Maybe not the number one, but right up there. 305 for that one. $305. Amazing. Vintage rare 1990 Lisa Frank dinosaur stationery. So I might put Lisa Frank up there at the top with Betsy Clark. Um, anything Lisa Frank, because it seems like it has to be vintage, capital L, capital F, but it has to be vintage. Make sure you're not getting the reproductions. Lisa Frank is a big money bolo. These only sold for $36. 
Um, not a typical Lisa Frank uh, print that I've seen before. I mean, they're dinosaurs, so it's not that flashy Lisa Frank that you're used to seeing. So I'm guessing that's why it didn't go for so much. All right, this is Vintage Ragdoll, 15 each, decorative and plain sheet envelope, sold for $110.50. Now, these all, oh, look at the little envelopes. How cute is that? It's like a little notepad. All right. Strawberry Shortcake. There are lots of people that collect Strawberry Shortcake. So anytime you can find cards that have, that are vintage, that have like Strawberry Shortcake or other cartoons, you know, you're, it's probably going to bring the value up. $68 plus shipping on that one. Here's another Lisa Frank. This is a stationary box with drawers and supplies, unicorns, puppies, bears. This is more of what you would expect from Lisa Frank. The dinosaur print, not common. This is more common. And definitely Lisa Frank will catch your eye for sure. This sold for $95 plus shipping. Another Betsy Clark Holly Hobby stationary. Postalettes sold for $100 plus shipping. And then we have this vintage Pan Am notepad. So I believe that's an old airline. I don't believe they're around anymore. Don't quote me on that. But this is just a notepad that maybe they gave away on the airline. Super fun. I like how they did that measurement there for us. That's, that's a good idea. That's clever. Um, but yeah, so keep an eye out for stuff like that. Not a big money bolo, only sold for $10.50 plus shipping. This may have done better with a buy it now or best offer and pricing it high. Because you got to have the right buyer looking for that. This is super cute. It's a vintage Miss Cutie Pie ceramic notepad holder by NAFCO. Sold for $130 plus shipping. This is a Sanrio um, notepad. And you probably associate Sanrio with Hello Kitty. Because that's probably what that brand is most known for. But this is just a teddy bear. And this notepad sold for $37 plus shipping. All right, so let's kind of take a look here. I don't think this is where I want to be. Okay, so we have this Halloween party invitation. So vintage invitations can also be a bolo. Um, this one is Halloween, and we all know that vintage Halloween, it always gets attention. $73 plus shipping on that one. All right, here are some other vintage Halloween. It's not where I want to be. Here it is. Vintage Halloween. Um, these aren't super, super old. Well, actually, it says they're from the 50s. Really? I, I did not think they were that old. That doesn't look that old. What do you guys think? Do you think that's really from the 50s? I mean, it only sold for $36. I don't think that's from the 50s. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I very well could be wrong, but I just don't feel like they had this Hallmark branding. And this just looks too new. All right, feedback in the comments. Sold for $36 plus shipping. And the next item are these vintage Halloween rare set of Black Cat Whitney invitations, $179.99 on those. So that is fantastic right there. Look how detailed they are. You're invited. Halloween party. Very, very cool. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for watching. This is what I call a bolo category video. I have over 130 of these videos on this channel, so be sure to check out some of the others. Some of them go way back to when I first started the channel, so definitely if you watch some of the older ones, make sure those items are still currently going for those prices because the markets do change over time. But I do have many that are newer and still very relevant, so check those out. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to have some other videos popping up here, 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 and uh, subscribe here. If you're new to the channel, I would love for you to subscribe I would love for you to subscribe, hit that bell so that you get notifications when I post new videos, and check out another video. If it's your first time here, let me know in the comments how you found the channel.